The Kremlin's current plan in the aggressive war against Ukraine is to play for time. Russian authorities are hoping for a mythical Western fatigue from supporting Kyiv, but the actions of the leaders of democracies testify otherwise. Thus, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said that the country would continue to help Ukraine with weapons even after its victory in the war, and the French Foreign Ministry confirmed the development of security guarantees for Kyiv. France and its partners are considering the best way to provide long-term support to Ukraine in every area. France is is prepared to sign agreements with Ukraine providing it with security guarantees that will help it defend itself in the long term and prevent any future aggressions, as our leaders stated in a joint declaration at the 36th Franco-British Summit, representative of the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs at the press briefing. Such guarantees in the world media are called the Israeli model. The fact is that Israel is not a member of NATO, but it has a number of long-term agreements with the United States for the supply of weapons. Thus, the defense capability of the country does not depend on the results of the elections in the state. In the case of Ukraine, a number of Euro-Atlantic countries can take on the obligation to equip the army. This explains the special specific role that they plan to allocate to us in terms of security, that we, in fact, will be members of the alliance. This means that NATO will make adjustments in its operational plans, including for the armed forces of Ukraine. There will even be an appropriate legal status that will allow us to receive supplies of modern Western equipment after the expected victory over the Russian invaders. It is assumed that the guarantees will be based on the Kyiv Security Treaty developed last year by a group of Ukrainian and Western politicians and experts headed by former NATO Secretary General Anis Fokker Rasmussen. The document takes into account the negative experience of the Budapest Memorandum and prescribes a clear plan for ensuring security on the territory of Ukraine with the help of Western countries. According to experts, the only risk of this agreement is that they may try to replace with it the full membership of Ukraine in NATO. And again, if, for example, Russia starts a new war against Ukraine, no matter what, even if it is defeated as a result of numerous military assistance, it is still another destabilization of Europe. And accordingly, before the European partners of Ukraine, it is necessary to put the question, do you want to live in a situation of constant powder keg or don't? If they do not want to, then the most realistic way is to ensure Ukraine's entry into NATO. However, Ukrainian top representatives, including President Volodymyr Zelensky, constantly emphasize on international platforms that Ukraine's membership in NATO has no other alternative. Many Western leaders are confident that the country will join the alliance after winning the Russian war, including NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. Reported by Diana Kulesnik, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.